do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. Oh, like that. Welcome to Steph Reacts, we'll be reacting to another episode of Craig Smith Podcast. Let's go. Hey! Welcome to Craig Facts on Caffeine, man. Yeah. Yes, oh, sir. what a hell of a show we got yeah, today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Notch and Lawless. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Man, what's going on, Notch? Man, how you doing, bro? What's yeah, going on, Lawless? Man, my brother. Yeah, yeah. Man, appreciate y'all coming, man. This is going to be an exciting show. We got two dudes that are not only musical geniuses, but funny than a motherfucker. And they got a lot of shit you niggas can learn from who's out there failing in life right now. <laughs> if you fell in life, I got two niggas next to me that can get you out of the dumps. <laughs> what's the first thing, what's the first bit of advice y'all would give to the 18-year-old you ain't got nothing going on, whole family don't think you're going to be nothing in your life, you know what I mean? You got all these dreams and delusions of grandeur, but you don't have nothing tangible. What do you tell that dude? to get to a point where he, you know, is, is making something of himself. I say keep going, first of all. Because my parents, when I was when I was 18, it was get a job, get a job, get a job, get a job. Guess what? I never had a job. Yeah. I never had a job. I worked, I, I did one job. I worked security at the BET Awards. Uh, what year? <laughs> it, was, it was 2000. And it was crazy because I, at 2008. Okay, so Chingy. And it was right before 2009. <laughs> Chingy was hot. Yeah, okay. and I had just did a song with Rick Ross, and I was still working. I was around it, and so people were seeing me, yeah. and they're like, "What the hell are you doing?" <laughs> right. Like, man, like, man, I, I literally was working for an hour. So, what security were you at the war? Were you the nigga? I was. I was at the press room. Oh, okay. okay. So, so the niggas you was nah, working with. I was at the. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 the day, this the day. Try to cover before. up his badge and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, no. This the day before, so I ain't even. I worked two hours, and then there was so many people coming through that knew me. It was like, man, I'm out of here, mm. and I ended up going in the awards. So Rick Ross working with Rick Ross, that was your first, <laughs> your first break. No, nah, my first break was I worked with Mers. Mers. Yeah, Mers. Mers. Uh, I did the, uh, the breakup song. Okay, so how did that come about? How the hell did you meet? Shout Mark? out, shout out to Mars from fifteen hundred and nothing. I'm part of fifteen hundred and nothing too. So, oh, okay. I was, um, I was early, and, and I was like had a teenage bear in the clip. <laughs> 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 That's the guy that's young Grizzly. This nigga. Play the keys and eat honey at the same time. I didn't know. Studio smells the same. I didn't know I was coming to do an interview with Sinbad. Sinbad's bloodline. They couldn't have Godzilla son up here yeah. with him. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 The Grey Poupon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grey Poupon. Do you have any Grey Poupon? Uh, uh, Nash, Nash likes his uh, porridge just right. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. You want some of this? You are the fifth Ninja Turtle. Yeah. <laughs> That's Mike and Jello. <laughs> Mike and Donatello. That's two niggas. <laughs> and they made it. It's a hybrid turtle. <laughs> That nigga surprise came from the Oh my god. It's too early, bro. It's too early, bro. It's a turtle. It's a turtle. Craig just got back from hunting practice. Uh, I, got, I got half a hack shield. I'm not a whole turtle. He just got done. He just got done. Spit it on his head. <laughs> Oh, so so oh, 
that happens oh, when you man. take off the suede wave cap. Oh, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> funny because I seen you and Craig reading the vegan Bible before, <laughs> before this started. And they got one Homer Simpson hair on his head. <laughs> <laughs> a little garden snake. No, but uh, <laughs> man, man. let's talk about it. So, so, man, bro. Yeah, bro. so Mars hooked you up with Mars. Yes, yes, oh. yes. So I went in the studio and uh, I I had had this beat where I sampled Anthony Hamilton. Okay. And, you know, early I was you know doing a lot of sampling, trying to you know get beats on from sampling and then. You know, me sampling Anthony Hamilton, I sampled Charlene. I sampled the song all the way, like, I didn't I didn't know no better back then. Yeah. So I, I had his voice, like, all the way through, like, the entire thing. So, I don't know what that was. Like, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ghost. Get out of here. <laughs> Back this shit up right there. Here we go. Beast ball ghost here. here. <laughs> It's, it's time to go. So, yeah. The time is so, now. Oh, so that's some game you're giving right now. So, so how did the sampling affect your paper? It affected my paper in a major way because I I don't own any percentage of that song. My name on it as a producer, you know, but I'm not. Like, Merce performed that at every festival he did, and me and Merce don't get paid from that song. Oh, wow. And that, and, and It's Anthony Hamilton's song! <laughs> you black motherfucker! Oh, yeah, no, and, and that's My a big, and that's a big thing for your fans to know you for a certain record, and you're not getting paid no money and for it, and you still gotta perform time. it. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, hey, yeah. and it yeah. was a single on this project too. I remember at that time, MySpace was was big at that time, and that song had 10 million plays on it. Oh wow! And you're not making no money from none of that shit. Oh, they wow. gave me like you know, here go this five thousand. Merry Christmas. Uh, so you got a lie and say you did it for the look. Yeah. No, I mean I, it was it was good for me though because I learned a lesson for that. You know what I'm saying? I never had to. You know, I don't deal with that no more, and I'm way more creative. I can create like I'm cold with melodies and and stuff like like people know me in the music industry i'm cold with melodies so i could so that's I'm your creative. Niche. yeah melodies is like that's what separates you from everybody else totally mm. so okay when did you find that out i figured it out from when when i would be in studios just singing melodies in the background and it was like that's it and now <laughs> 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 so, so see other people do that with my with my music and and I, I would I would hide my actual songs. Right. So I, I had the opportunity to work with this artist named Prince Charles okay. and I was working he was Some like the English, the white nigga. Nah, nah, he was <laughs> 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 Prince Charles. I never heard of the nigga. Yeah, the nigga Cold Writer. He from Compton. He Cold Writer. Shout out to Prince Charles. No disrespect, man. Love, love and respect, brother. So he had he had connected me to um some dope stuff because my sister Libby put me with Prince Charles. I worked with Prince Charles and I was hiding my songs. And one day I played one of my songs. I would I would like produce for him and he would write. But one day I played one of my songs. He's like, I want to record that. I'm like, nigga, I'm just playing around on that. He's like, nah, I want to record that song. So he started recording my songs, and this nigga got a deal in Germany off of this shit. Oh, well, so you was and, one of them and, tough and niggas that was scared to let niggas know you could sing. <laughs> 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 no, no, I, I, no, I always <laughs> let no people know I could sing. Oh, okay. Even in the hood, like I was, I was still, people, when I was in high school, I would do songs with my homeboy, JV. Where you go to high school at? Crenshaw High. Oh, you went to the show? Yeah, I went to the show. Horace Main too? No, I went to Audubon. Audubon. Yeah. Audubon. Oh wow! Okay, so you, so you, you grew up, so you, you come through that Battle Cat pipeline. Yeah, man. I and mean, that's what's crazy. When I, when I got out of high school in 2006, I was when I was working with 1500. Uh, what was it? Two, yeah, 2006. I was working with 1500 at this studio where Jackie Jackson was working in one room. Battle Cat was working in another room. Oh, Jackie Jackson. The Jackson, Michael Jackson brother. Oh wow! He's working there. I'm working right here with 1500 went on tour with Lupe Fiasco, but right. I, I'm in there working. And then down the hall, you got um, Battle Cat. Outside, you got Maroon 5. Oh, wow. You got Rick Rubin. Oh, wow. You got uh, uh, Brooke Valentine. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who did, the most, who did the most coke? 
I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah. I haven't the slightest idea of anything. I don't think nobody was fucking with Maroon 5. I don't know they was. <laughs> 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 it had to be. Well, it was a studio <laughs> gloss. <laughs> Bro, but that, no, hold on. Let's not, let's not gloss over that. That's a very um, interesting melting pot. I don't know if I can call all of them niggas influences, but that's a lot of motivation around you. Yeah, it was. And it's close, too. It's like the studio's like, it ain't no more than three, four feet to the five feet to the next. Right. Yeah, and it was cool like early close. to be even seeing them people and being tapped in because I was going to lunch with Jackie Jackson. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So wow. Michael was alive. Was speeding up to when I was working with Prince Charles when he got his deal. Yeah. Prince Charles hit me. He in Atlanta one day, and he like, I need you to come out here, and I go out there. And not knowing Prince Charles was gonna open on tour for Michael Jackson. Oh wow! So you I had met Mike. No, I didn't meet Mike, but Prince Charles was rehearsing for that tour. Yeah, for the This Is It tour. But this Prince Charles nigga is a hell of a nigga. <laughs> nah, <No, I ain't. laughs> <laughs> he's super dope. He's from Compton. From Compton. He's super dope. And for you, the one thing I love about Compton, bro, it's a small city, bro, but Compton really represents itself. In a major way in entertainment. No, nah, facts. Yeah. I'm from Compton too. You would think no. Compton was yeah. LA as far as like how many yeah. motherfuckers live there. Yeah. It's only like 70, 80,000 motherfuckers in Compton. It ain't a really gang yeah. of mother. But shout out to Compton, man. That's one of yeah. the most, I know it's the most influential West Coast city. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the only, only city probably, for sure, man. Yeah. I don't know what it is in the water, man, but it, yeah. it produces a hell of a motherfucking Compton. Shout out to Compton. So. Okay, so let's, Lawless. So how do y'all yeah, cross yeah. paths? Oh man, look. Compton. I, <laughs> Compton. I was signed to Brazil Street, signed to Black Wall Street. That's a game in Big Face Hunted. Oh, so that's so you was you was on Black Wall Street with yeah. uh, with Menace. Yeah. Oh wow. So um I had someone managing me, my homegirl, her name is China. That she was close friends with Notch and she was like, man, no, I gotta China, plug China you. China was managing me too. Okay. She was like, I gotta I gotta her plug you the, in uh, with Notch. Don, a lady named Don Beverly. They was managing me together, so they was managing him too. Right. And another, like Jay, it was a cold connection how they put us all like, yeah. together. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then we, I pulled up to his house. He wasn't even there. Oh, <laughs> that nigga, that nigga. <laughs> that was the first time I, but I, it stuck with me. I'm like, man, I gotta meet Notch. But how'd you find out where he lived? She took me there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was. Nah, I ain't do no research. I was, I was, he, was still, he was still in the studio making beats for Jackie Jackson. I, I, I ain't do no research. I was, I was just in the valley that day, man. I was just in the valley that day. Okay, yeah. yeah. So they thought I was at the crib. I was yeah. in the valley that day. Yeah, but, but then I started, I started ghostwriting for an artist, and he was producing for that artist. Wow. And then that's how we bumped, and then we connected. Oh, like, I was like, I finally met this nigga. You, you know what I'm saying? I finally right met the, this nigga. And he like, you the <laughs> All right, cool. We got yeah. it. But that's a dope point yeah. you brought up, because both of you are all, we're all shit. It come born. full circle. Everybody here mm -hmm. is actually a motherfucking MC as well. Mm -hmm. People don't understand. It's a different talent to ghost write for a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because people think you could just pick up a pen and I'm writing a, I'm writing a song. Uh, for that, how, that ain't how it works. Talk about your process in tapping into an artist. You got to be in. Okay. Yeah. You got to literally tap into being yeah. in. Like I was in, uh, I remember I was in Atlanta, and I like at that camp I was telling y'all about earlier. Like I was writing in this camp out there, and I and I um, I was right. I was like in the studio one night. First of all, I was out there as an engineer, and I was writing one night, and, I, and then this lady I had talked to, she was like, "Yeah, when we used to write." With with uh Jodeci and stuff, we used to like we have to act like them. Like we right. were at the, and I'm like, Smoke that's track. what I be doing. Why is this nigga naked? Why is he naked in the studio? I'm tapped in. I'm tapped in. I'm working. I'm working. Like why your drawers running? I'm too bad. Hell to the dog. <laughs> no shirt, no drawers on, clothes on. Yeah, oh, no, nigga. Talk, so, so doors closed, not wide open. Who knows? Who knows? Waiting for nobody. Ain't no, ooh, yeah. Okay, so bam, so you hook up. 
You hook up with some people that used to write for Jodeci. Yeah, so then they had told me, they was like, that was one of my people that was, I was chopping it with at that time. And so I, uh, I kind of tapped into that. And when I was working on a song for like Chris Brown, I kind of tapped in like one of his vibes and I ended up creating what, what one of my boys created that uh, Sweet Love song. Sweet Love, okay. Yeah. No, I'm trying yeah. to think. Oh, baby, let's get naked. Just so we can make sweet love all these sensations hey. Got me going crazy for you And that yeah. was one of Chris Brown's wow. singles, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's fire 2012 yeah, shit, you know what good. I'm saying? Yeah, but really tapping into the vibe, because Chris is really my, my boy I've known him for a long time, but I had never got the opportunity to like do a song for him Right, right, right you know what I'm saying? I've been to a million sessions, been around him for videos, everything, but that was my first time tapping in and was able to... Well, let's talk about Chris's work ethic, because for me personally, you got to be a dope young nigga for me to be a fan. Yeah. I'm older than Chris. <laughs> right. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And yeah. this nigga amazes me, bro. Yeah. His work ethic, his talent, his dedication to the craft. Talk about some of the things that you may have learned working around Chris Brown. Man, work, working around Chris Brown, like... He had not, he nonstop, bro. Like, you go to you go to the studio with Chris Brown, he he start playing you records. Be prepared to chill and listen for a good minute and see he about to fully perform. He's not about to sit there and just play you the songs. This nigga's like sweating he's right. still like hey, I'm, I'm like damn and everything is a smash bro and it's like every time i've been to a session it's been the same thing rather he recording the song or not and he's still the same energy when he in a booth it's like right. even when he go to the stage like he a, he a real one yeah. and now every time i seen yeah. chris brown and been somewhere even i go to a video shoot or something security trying to stop me and somebody he's like no nigga not not good nigga it's, not, yeah. it's always that it ain't never been like no Turning the nose, right, like some right. niggas be doing, yeah. act like they don't see oh, you and shit. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. James Harden did me. But, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? He happened like that. Uh, oh, <laughs> he gave you the look away. Oh, yeah, he gave you the look away, man. Oh, it's okay. all, you know, it's all love, back. though, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's that love, man. I don't know why he did that. It's all love. James, do everybody like that. He did me like that, too. He did. Fuck ass. Comb your beard. Smash the ball, nigga. Fucked off the six of chances this year because you want to hog the goddamn rock. We love you, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love you. Love you, love you, love you. Love you. No, don't be sensitive. You're a legend, bro. I'm a big fan, but I'm, I don't give a fuck who you are. I'm going to talk shit. <laughs> I got it from my dad, nigga. I seen my dad cuss out Kareem Abdul-Jabbar when I was like five. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga was at the, uh, <laughs> the, nigga was at the Glendale Galleria and signed yeah. autographs. Oh, right? Okay. How tall is Pops five, seven, five, eight. Okay. Great gangster, though. How tall is Kareem? Paint the picture. Paint seven, the one. Big old man. <laughs> <laughs> so Pops took off work and took me to the Glendale Galleria because he was signing oh, autographs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we waiting in line. And, you know, it's a gang of motherfuckers. This is Kareem. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? We get to the front of the line. Pop think, okay, maybe $100, $50. Yeah. Get my autograph. Uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> we get to the front of the line, nigga. No. Kareem on 350. Ooh. Oh, we're talking about 1989. Oh, oh man. I got $5,000 back then. You got it fucked up, Kareem. So they're like, well, sir, if you ain't got the 350, my dad said, I got the 350, but nigga, this is a rip out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got $100. Kareem, he started yelling at Kareem. Kareem, I got $100, my nigga, right? <laughs> While other kids is taking it. I got $100, my nigga. What's happening, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, look over like you know, kind of like what the fuck is going on? And uh, the pops, you know, while we in the front of the line, said, "Nigga, I'm not finna pay three fifty, son. But just say something to the nigga." That's hey, Kareem. And as we walking out, he said, "You punk ass nigga." <laughs> all these all these Mexicans and Armenians, and it's a nigga here, a nigga shot, <laughs> and you gonna let it slide for the hundred? <laughs> He was right. Yeah, yeah, right. Goddamn yeah. sellout, Kareem. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Cap. We yeah. yeah. got kicked out the mall, man. Yeah. 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 And I was the only black kid in line, too. Oh, it was embarrassing, man. man. I was the only black kid out of line, too. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. What about a time in music, both of you, where you was embarrassed, and how did you beat it? 
damn. You know what? I don't. I can't even. It's been so long, but I can say like doing a show, and then you like forget a line. Yeah. That'd be the worst because if you don't bounce back. Yeah. It could be all bad. <laughs> you know what niggas People, do? People, they, they, the audience know when you fuck yeah. up. <laughs> you know what West Coast rappers do? Like, we, I'm talking about weak West Coast rappers. They always start saying, this West Coast, homie. West Side? <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> coast, <laughs> this is the West Coast. <laughs> 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 We're neck <Netka>. What about Toledo? <laughs> <laughs> We're Riverside. We're Riverside. Hysteria. We're in on the mat in the house. We're in on the mat. I'm a mat. You from Reseda, make some noise. Yes. Yeah, anybody living in any unincorpor- unincorporated area? <laughs> For real. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. So forgetting the line on stage, right? So how do you mask it? Oh uh, man, you better you better dance. You gotta you gotta know how to boogie, bro. You gotta do something. You know what I'm saying? Miss <laughs> you know <what> <laughs> that, that threw him off. No, 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 no. no. I'm talking about nude something. You know, like you know. That's it, funny, bro. You know, but you know how you bounce back for real though. Minifee, Minifee, Victor Bill, Victor Bill, Peter Victor Bill, San Diego. Where the 80s babies at? Where the 80s babies at? Sexy ladies! Then you gotta yell out, Victor Bill and do a hard soft shoot. It's the valley in the house. Say, fuck it, I gotta go to the bathroom, I'll be right back. Keep the music playing, DJ. Uh, like, nigga, what? Oh, that's wild. Like my mic, baby. Hold on, something wrong with my mic. Bullshit. <laughs> 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 like, I got the same. I got the same thing though. Like, Bro. I got it. Like, that's why this, this, this my dog right here. Like, I've known Lawless a long time, right? So, like, with time when I was embarrassed, it's a serious moment. It's like I had to go see my grandfather on his deathbed Man. right before me, me and him had a show the same night. So when I get there, I'm forgetting the words. I'm just like, the show is so terrible. And then I had to tell them at the end of the night, like, look, I just had to go see my grandfather on his deathbed, yeah, you know. Yeah. Excuse me, you know, for while I'm, you know, how I'm, but this nigga right here was there and, you know what I'm saying, took me to go, yeah. you know, see my grandfather right before. And literally at the same time, the video that's in my phone, the literally at the same, you know how the iPhone tell you the time that record was pressed, right? Yeah. The same exact time record was pressed, the same minute my grandfather died. Oh, that's mm. amazing. Rest in peace, Grandpa, man. Yeah, rest in peace, my That's what people don't family. talk that's about, the- man. When you're a creator, it's still regular life happening. Facts, all the time. You know what I'm saying? It be shit niggas be going through. Sometimes when I when I be on camera, man, it, you know, you, it, it's take a special nigga to be able to focus. Man, mm-hmm. real talk. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of reasons to stop. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they, niggas yeah. don't, if you want to be an artist out there, I, it's <laughs> such a mind fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas be thinking you own and it's cracking and you yeah. be thinking about quitting this shit. Yeah. 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 It's all yeah. kind of shit going on, man. You got this going on, that. <laughs> and, and, and everybody like, man, I see you, man. You doing, man, you yeah. doing it. Like, man, if you don't get out of my face, you don't have no idea. <laughs> yeah. you, know? you don't want this. <laughs> they just think they want it, but they don't yeah, want it. Nah, real talk. Because you got to be a special type of person. First of all, man, I think every dope artist, um, at least at his creative peak, you know, they got to beat their ego. Yeah. yeah. Because your ego is always telling you that you're better than the work. Nah, real talk. You feel what I'm saying? And it's always a young, hungry nigga that's doing the work that you used to do. Talk about how your process and how you dial back in you know what I'm saying? Maybe when you're slipping a little bit and, and put yourself back in the space where you're creating fire and you're getting the best out of you that you could possibly get. Yeah, really loves. Uh, it's really off the vibes. Like, you live in life. Like, you really got to surround yourself with positive energy and not let anything negative really linger or, or attach itself to you. And that's how you're going to make good music. Because you have to be in a space to where you feel comfortable to 
tap into doing things that you wouldn't even thought about doing, like as far as it could be um, uh, rhythm, like how you, the way you rap, like your flow, you might switch up your flow, but you might not have tapped in into that realm if you was worried about arguing with your girl or right, you know right. what I'm saying? Or yeah. Something else, you feel me? You ever left a broad over your music? Well, bitch, if you're not gonna oh, yeah. accept this reggae I'm into, then <laughs> yeah. 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 you don't need no more reggae. Go. Yeah. You gotta go. Shout it, you gotta go. It's gotta either go. me or reggae, bitch. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey. Cause at that point, that's, that's like, you know, that's like your livelihood, you know? Right. Yeah. You know, I don't tell her how to braid hair. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey. You know what's crazy too, like, is like the family. Cause for me, when I when I made the choice to do the shit that we doing, I didn't have no family doing this shit. Yeah. So it wasn't nobody I could go to that could give me. You know what I'm saying? The goddess I needed, I had but, to go find it. But that's how I stay tapped in too, because that's how I keep my focus and stay grounded because I stay tapped in with my family. My dad, pastor, and my whole family church, yeah. and everybody sing and, you know, did music. My dad played the keys, I played the keys. Right. My, my brother played drums, my little brother played drums. Right, right. Like it's it's in, it's in our blood. And my grandfather's son, you know what I'm saying? My right. aunties, all my aunties was in a group. My mom saw it, like, yeah. it's just music crazy. So I tap back in with just having conversations and being talk, tapping in the real life. Like, my family, we all bag on each other. Yeah, yeah. Like, all the time. My dad, we all, we bag on each other. Like, yeah, yeah, Roast yeah. each other all the time. So it's yeah. like, it's it, that, that alone is just, that's what rejuvenated me and being around my real friends and real homies is like Lawless and a few other friends that I do have. Like, I don't, I don't be like, Putting myself around a bunch of negative energy around because it drains, you know, it's bro. It's super draining. You got to focus on too much other sh shit to, you know, to motivate other people. Like that's not on the same path. Right, right. So you, you got to find, you know, get out there and, and, and be focused on what's actually going in the same direction that you're trying to go in, and at the same time, what's actually rejuvenating you, even if they're not in the same path. Right. You know what I mean? Cause just talking to friends and going to certain places and seeing sites sometimes just rejuvenate me. Straight up. Got to see certain shit. Like I go look at some sites. I go to the beach, yeah, real yeah. quick, and be back in the studio writing about waves. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know. <laughs> the, I, I got that same process. I, well, movies help me too. I watch a movie. Man, uh, I'm a movie right, fanatic. Right, I can tell you, I watch so much stuff. Documentaries really get me because the truth is way more doper than fiction. Oh, uh, way doper. Yeah, I, I've watched certain documentaries. I started to watch the Steve Jobs documentary so far. It is really good. It shows you that if you keep pushing, you can achieve a lot. But I gotta finish it though. Let me know what documentaries you guys are watching on Netflix or any other movie platform. I mean, it was like, I can't believe that God made a motherfucker like this. Dude. <laughs> What's the nigga, Burke? You seen the documentary about the neighbor who fucked the whole... The, a whole the stranger hit. next door. You've seen the stranger, stranger next door. Yeah, yeah. That's nah, on Netflix, right? Yeah, yeah. That's that oh, crazy Bird shit. Bird has got to be the most diabolical. <laughs> I ain't seen Bird yet. Seen Bird, nigga. <laughs> he fucked the whole family next door. The father, the mother, the daughters. He fucked the whole house. Tricked Whoa. the daughter. Tricked the daughter into thinking that she was abducted by aliens. Tricked the daughter. Had the. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> she was abducted this by him. Yes, this is real. Bro, this, this is, I'm not going to look at that. <laughs> you got to watch that. They're not going to support you, Burt <laughs> back around. <laughs> <laughs> Burt, they don't have no, Burt, bust her back. I'm not going to support you. But what I'm saying is what was, cra what was crazy <laughs> about the documentary <laughs> was how he isolated each person in the family. Wow. And fucked them all at different times, and nobody knew that the other, you know what I'm saying? Damn. So, like, Bert, Bert, yeah. Bert was fucking the father and the wife, and they did, but they both wasn't telling each other. He started and, with the father? What? <laughs> he told the father because well, they, they, they were riding in the car, in the truck. Why are said, you guys watching this? No, no, no. We no, 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 no. This Bert porno. Y'all niggas asking me. No, 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 no. Why are you niggas watching this comfortable? <laughs> well, it ain't Bert. It's fucking the father. That's it. Right. 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 Next episode. We didn't see him fucking. It ain't no footage of Bert. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to know. The thought of the father being fucked is not cool, man. It ain't cool. It ain't cool. The father. It ain't cool.
I would have been dead. Bro, <laughs> bro. Man, father dead that. in the house, bro. family, yeah. family yeah. survived. Yeah, it's, this nigga Bert convinced the mother and the father because the daughter was having trouble in school or something. Bert like, be a dead man. Yeah. Yeah. He convinced the mother. Did Bert have a gun? Did have a gun? <laughs> Just a whole mouth. Finish piece. your story, please. Right. He convinced. Check this out. He convinced the mother and the father that the best therapy for their daughter was to let her sleep in bed with him in his house. <laughs> And they sent their daughter. How did he do that? No, no, no. But when, when, uh, <laughs> did he drug him? No, no, no. no. It was, he went to their house and slept in the room he with the daughter. He went in their house. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah. when Bert was in the truck with the father, he was talking about how he was stressed, yeah. and he told the father, "I need a release." <laughs> Whoa, uh. bro, bro. <laughs> Bert, you want six souls? That shit is reserved. Bert would have got beat up. Bert would have got thrown out that car. He in a different type of release. Bert would have got thrown out that car. I would have did him like Gucci Mane. Like Gucci Mane did. We're going to go to some clips. What clips are we going to, Daisy? What's the first? Huh? Don't go to no clip of Bert. We're going to some fights. Watch these niggas. Not anything but Bert. Go, go, go. Bert for the knockout daddy. <laughs> oh. Man. Shout out to that co-worker dude. With the Man, hands. with the sweater. Yeah. Yeah, that was he, a lot of knockouts. He did a little bit of something. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. uh, yeah. you cut the YouTube stream off? Yes. All right, cool. Goodbye All right, for sure. You. I just got a Goodbye. notification. Yeah. All right, man. So let's talk Goodbye. about it, man. Goodbye. So, too short. Slut. They recently showed a video, a compilation video of persons getting knocked out. If you missed it, I skipped that part because of copyright infringement. I don't want to get demonetized, so I skipped it, okay? Back to the video. Oh, how did you connect with Too Short? How did that go down? So, I know where we were Too going. Short. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I worked with Too Short uh, through my boy uh, Shona. Shona, a producer that worked in the Bay. He he did uh, that slowdown for Clark Carson. Yeah. And uh, he, did, he did a lot of shit. But uh, all my bass songs, Shona put me with all the different artists. So one day I go in the studio with E40. We was working at Nick Cannon old studio. And man, this one I, I I was I was young messing with Lean. That's why I don't mess with Lean, right? I don't mess with it no more. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I was young messing with it, and I went in the studio, and um, I didn't eat no food that day. And I went in there and tried to do a hook. It was terrible. I said, "Hold on, Mr. E40, sir. <clears throat> go right here across the street. Go get me some food real quick. I'll be right back." That was terrible. <laughs> Before you could even tell me that it was whack. <laughs> I'm gonna go on over here and go get some food. You know what I'm saying? How was, what was the whack part? You remember the whack? I don't even remember. I never want to remember. I made. I deleted it. For real? I went back to the computer and went bow delete. Yeah. Highlighted everything and deleted it, and then make sure they couldn't find it. Took yeah. it out of the files, deleted all the files. So it was like I'll be right back. Right, you know right. What I'm saying uh, I'll be right back. So I go to the go get some food, come back, and I did two hooks that day. For E40 um, and Too Short on, for their 25th anniversary album, uh, Let's Have a Party and um, and Firefighter. So you worked. So with, you worked with Short and Forty. Yeah, that was that was, that was was for their project. So later on, Too Short had hit me like, man, I need I need a hook. So I went to his crib and we was just oh, joking you around. Too Short crib. Yeah. Oh man. That's my nigga. Oh okay. okay. So I went to I went to his crib and we was just over there joking and shit. And that's how the, the slut song came about. Notch surprisingly met a lot of people. I didn't even know he did music. It's a it's a joke. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 dope. Man, that's cool. They talking and he talking and he hit it and I almost didn't hit it, but I hit it and then quit it. Yeah, she's a Slut. slut. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. Bro. Yeah, I'm talking about her. Yeah. Slut. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's the new project they got with all them niggas? Mount Westmore? Yeah, Mount, yeah. Mount Westmore. Yo, you, you That's, a, That's nah, a dope collab. I actually, uh, too short, I went to the studio one day. He had me pull up, and I, I went over there, and, bro, he played me so many songs. Them niggas got library. Really? Oh, yeah. so, no, bro. I serious. And you got to like, and you gotta think got, about like, it. They all recording at their own studio, sending each other files, everything. But these niggas got 
Like, I'm talking about, they got libraries of albums done. This the first one they finna give us, but they got, they ready. Yeah, yeah. And every song was like, man, what? No features, like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. All in. Wow. Yeah, sick. I heard like 50 songs. Yeah. Oh, wow, I can't yeah. wait to hear it. It's man. smashing. Wow. For real. I ain't telling you none of the names. I ain't getting in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Lawless, who did you work with that surprised you? Like, man, I never thought I'd work with this motherfucker. Man, that's crazy. Oh, uh, man. That's a hard one. You know what, Mac Dre. You work with Mac Dre? Yeah. Man, how did that come about? <laughs> Mac Dre? Yeah, I work with Mac Dre. Um, <clears throat> and this is a funny yeah, story, yeah, too. Man. So this was even before me even um, going to signing with um, Brazil. I was in high school and, and it was this, it was a security guard, right? He was a security guard at my high school. And he used to hear me about me being the best rapper from that school and he heard me battle rapping at lunchtime. So he's like, I'm a rapper. I got a deal. I'm signed to this record the company. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you the story, you right? Remember his name? Yes, I do. What's his name? His name is Bandana. Bandana shout the Great. Ba Bandana. Bandana. Shout out to Bandana. Bandana. Yeah. I don't want to just, you know what I'm saying, but he, at the time, he was a security guard, but it's because he got in trouble. You know how you got to get a job. And so that was his situation. But me in high school, I'm like, man, what could you do? Like, bro, you a security guard in my high school. But I, <laughs> I still kept an open mind because, like, I, I was just fucking with him as a person. Yeah. And then so, like, man, I'm underage. He, he had to go to my mama and ask her, can I take your son to the bay? Wow. And, but my mom had knew my talent. Like, it wasn't like the first time. She trusted me at the yeah. time. So I'm 16. I, I could, you know, yeah, handle yeah. myself, but. His family is in me. She, too. she let me, he, he, we drove to the Bay, bro, and we, we went to go meet with Mac Dre. Like, he was signed to a record label out there in the Bay. So when we went to uh, Mac Dre's house, we entered from the back because his front yard was a lake. Oh, wow. wow. First of all, a shout out to the parent that actually had so many tr trust and a child to actually let him do something like that. You know, many parents would actually disagree with that or wouldn't even allow that to happen. So shout out to his parents. His front yard was a leg, bro. Wow. When you went and when you went inside his house, he had like two big screen TVs next to each other. Like he could play the same thing or play different stuff. And back then it was like, bro, that's like, bro, yeah, studio wow. in the house. He had wow. every pair of uh, color Chuck Taylor, every color. Yeah. And he has some big ass feet, so you know what I'm saying? Big ass banana <laughs> boat feet, like yeah, yeah, big yeah. ass shoes. I'm like, that was the first thing. I'm like, bro, like, damn. Yeah, That's man, he was crazy, a real one. Crazy, man. Not Dre. Yeah. So talk about that, one. man. Like, what, what was that like working with him, man? Oh, it was dope, bro. And it was it was a good uh, opportunity, bro. Like, he just was so real. He he wanted to come down to L.A. because he felt like he wasn't known in L.A. So he, and he knew that L.A. was a good marketplace and that money was down here. Yeah, yeah. So he was trying to get down to L.A. He was looking at spots and, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's cool. And, back, and it was good. And I really enjoyed it at that moment. I appreciate it even more because before we even got to him, you know, we stopping at the, like, gas station, getting something to eat. And people are like, we can tell y'all ain't from here. Like, where y'all from? We're like, oh, we from Compton. We do, ooh. They're like, oh, yeah, what y'all doing out here? We're like, we fucking with Max J. They're like, oh, rest in peace. We're like, what? They're like, yeah, you heard on, it's been all on the radio. Max Dre dead. And we, at the time, it's like, there's no cell, it's cell phones, but it's just like, bro, like, so that's, so was it's no real right social media. Yeah. You yeah. was down here, up there. No, I was in there. the Bay. We drove wow. from L.A. We had talked to him before we got on the road. So by the time you got there, he was dead. So, wow. Yeah, he was dead. He was dead. Because they had been reporting it on the radio. And back then, it wasn't like Instagram. It wasn't no yeah. Facebook. It wasn't none of that. So they were saying everybody believed that's what it was. And then he wasn't calling to the radio stations to confirm he not dead. He heard the rumors. He was just letting it go. His phone was ringing, blowing up. But people was like, yeah, rest in peace. Was like, no, he not dead. Like, we we about to go like yeah. we with him. Like, like, nah, rest in peace. It was just like, I just let it go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I realized, like, damn, like. Damn. So, before, so when I saw working with him, yeah, and I'm like, damn, it was even bigger. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, you supposed to be dead right now. Yeah, so when yeah. this shit dropped, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Then how long after that did he actually die? 
like, um, I want to say like nine months after, oh, ten wow. months after. Man, that's yeah, crazy, bro. man. And and that's crazy because Russell Simmons told me he died. Really? Yeah, I was meeting with Russell and he and um, and shout out Rob Love, Dev Jam, shout out Tony Austin, um, but. He told me, he was like, so what you working on? Like, I was telling him the workers, records I was working on and what I had. And he's like, yeah, rest in peace, Mac Dre. And I'm like, what? Man. Because it was no social media, like, for me. Yeah. I'm like, I'm a teenager still. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But he was like, rest in peace, Mac Dre. And I was like, what? And then he told me what happened. And then I went and called my folks, and I was like, oh, shit. Man, so how did how'd you... I mean, you get meetings with Russell. Like, what? What? Are you a Jackson too? Oh nigga? no, man, man? <laughs> man, that's so funny, man. It's just ambition, man. Like, I had um, as a teenager, I had my own demo. Like, I made my own demo, printed out my my stuff, and then so it was like something where I had seen like on a magazine. I was reading like you know Vibe Source magazines, and he was doing a book or doing like doing like a meet and greet at one of these malls but like far out like antelope valley or some shit you feel me so mm -hmm. i'm a teenager i just like looked at the bus route looked at the train i had to hop on the bus and the train to get there yeah and walk you feel me right to get to this mall to stand in line to meet with him to have an opportunity just to talk to him and present myself and then from there i wrapped in front of him took a flick and then he gave me his two of us both of his numbers and then he gave me three other people numbers was other people there and and wow. that's when he was forming Russell Simmons Music Group. Right when he was forming it, like right before. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. That's some, that's some wild shit right there. Yeah. <laughs> the moral of the story right there is when you want something bad enough, you are going to go after it no matter what, no matter the, no matter the obstacles and everything else, you're going to get it. Man. So talk about... uh. So you did, did four songs with well short and forty. Yeah. So you well, did. I did. Four. I did. I did them two, and then I did uh, the slut song with, with short. Okay. <clears throat> so three. And but you're... another crazy person I work with, Stevie Wonder. You work with Stevie? That's crazy. Wow. That's legendary. I got a song with Stevie Wonder called "Love Is Blind." There you wow. go. Oh, on, my like <laughs> yeah. on my life. On my life. And I got and Stevie Wonder is playing the harmonica. On. Oh wow! So how did you meet Stevie? How did that? What, how did that come about? I got put in the studio and, and was told I would be writing a song for him with my boy, and I just didn't believe it at first. And I was like, all right, whatever. But they booking it. it's the biggest. It's like Chalice. Everybody know Chalice costs money out here. Like that studio, it's like three thousand a motherfucking day to be in there. Yeah. So I, I know the homies ain't booked this shit. Right, <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? And we in there for like two days, and one night Stevie come through at like four in the morning, and I, the song I knew he was coming, so I'm like, bro, I'ma sing my ass off on this song. I ain't gonna half ass like sing the song. I'm gonna yeah. sing it for real. The nigga come hear the song, and he like, this song done. I like, mean, this song done, man. I've been working on this song for two, three days. Like, he like, it just need one thing. This nigga pulled his harmonica out and went in the booth. Oh, wow. And got on the end of the song. And then he leave, and I'm like, hey, man, so what the fuck just happened? <laughs> My boy, Lamar, that's like Stevie right here, man. He say, congratulations, you got a feature from Stevie Wonder. Oh, wow. Hey, boy, God bless just like that, eh? Wow, that's crazy. Wow. I'm like, man, what wow. the fuck? He, he, he had any bitches with him? No, nah, no. Nah, nah. For real, I heard he, 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 he ain't seeing nobody he right now. <laughs> 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 he definitely asked was he definitely asked was any there. But yeah, I heard Stevie be on his bitches, man. No, Stevie yeah, cool. Yeah, Stevie yeah. took yeah. you to eat before. And then, and then he picked I, you up? You know, I hope he wasn't just... <laughs> 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 no, 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 I, I, I was already there when I he came through. Yeah, okay. I was there and he came through. We was at Mr. Child's, and uh, it's when he had this artist that he was uh, about to push. And uh, he had me come through, and Stevie's sitting across from me. It's a round table. It's like security guard, security guard, Stevie. Um, one of his people that brought me, the artist, the mom, and then me. And... and um, he, he eating, and then out of nowhere, he looked up directly at me, and he like, so Notch, when are we putting out the song? 
And I'm like, Steve, look at me, man. His eyes are open? No, man. Okay. <laughs> he got shades on. He got, show, okay, he got dark shades on. I'm, leave Stevie alone, man. Yeah. I'm just saying, he, like, the way he connect, like, it's crazy. Yeah, like, he keep picking up. So, ball. like, bro, whenever you want to put the song out. Yeah. And Stevie's so cool. Like, we in the restaurant. And, Dr and Drake is on, and, and he, you know, he in there singing like, hell yeah, yeah. hell yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. Stevie Wonder singing Drake, nigga, this That's is crazy. Right, yeah. Like, nigga, it's, it's, it was crazy, like, to even be yeah. encountered. Yeah, yeah. Like, Stevie around. crazy around that time, like, Mars was was in the restaurant too that night, and I seen him come in. Yeah, and it was a certain celebrity's birthday that night that he was with. We went over there and sung Happy Birthday to her and all that stuff. Stevie sung too. I got all this shit on camera, and like it was crazy. Stevie <laughs> told the whole Stevie told the whole table to come sing Happy Birthday to her. Yeah. Right, so we all went over there. He, or he thought they didn't move. They, I went over there with him and it was secure, one security guard, but yeah. Stevie said, happy birthday mm -hmm. to you, yeah, right? Yeah. Happy. And then he went like this, like, sing, y'all. And it's just me there, so I'm like, happy mm -hmm. birthday. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, y'all, these niggas they left, yeah. us, left us in the cold, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you over doing that to Stevie. Y'all supposed to get up yeah. from that table with Stevie Good looking out for that one. You better not say that to that. <laughs> that was dope. It was dope hanging out with him, man, because he was, it's a good vibe, bro. To yeah. even meet Stevie, have that opportunity, man, super That's dope. Right. What you learned from Stevie? What I learned from Stevie, man, was not to give up no matter what situation you ran into in life, because being, I know being blind is a whole nother thing in life where it's like you don't really. Right. And you have no control over that. So you got to use every other sense to do every other thing that you can do. Yeah, anyway, you can play the keys like he can. He can play crazy way better than me. And I can see, I think that's amazing. Yeah, and to right. do anything else that people can do that can physically see. Yeah. And you that incredible. Never, like I said, the first thing you asked me, what what can we teach somebody out there? Never keep, never give never up. Give up. Right. Always keep going, cause no matter what circumstances, like crazy, I meet Lawless a long time ago, and then <clears throat> I didn't have contact to a certain artist, and running bro, linked me back with him. Right. And the first thing I could have sent was something of mine, but I ended up sending my homegirl who was being blocked in the industry, and nobody would. Why was they blocking her? You know, in the industry is different. You know they. Mm. People don't really like want to see. Like I ain't gonna say people like it's just they don't want to see you come up unless you under a, a certain umbrella or you mm. signed to this person or you mm. you are they with you? Are they? And it's different camps and shit. Right. Well, it's like this was that that is this. Right. And, 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 just in and, it, and it was easy. You know why it was easy because and I can say the name. I knew Chris Brown knew him. You feel me? And that he would want to hear from him. You know how people could be funny about giving each other people's number, bro. right? Mm -hmm. But it was not. It wasn't like my brother, my, somebody, some some other. You know, I knew their relationship, so I was like, okay, yeah. Yeah. Like I ran into bro, like, oh, nigga, like, you feel me? Right. But yeah. that's based on their relationship on what they got, like, bro, like, oh man. It's weird how that shit work, right? Cause you gotta be weird. Everybody, you know, ain't ready. Yeah. No, nah, it don't move. It don't move. Cause right I done been through everybody. like that. I done been like that, man. How did you get my number? Straight up. It could have been like that. Cause what a lot of niggas don't. Bro, as soon as I hit, bro, he was like, send me something. Yeah. yeah. Send him. I sent up. I sent my homegirl song. Cause as soon as I heard her song, it sounded like she had tapped in like to him, and I was just like, damn, I gotta send this song. Yeah. I'll be a hater if I don't send this shit. Oh it, man. It hit me in ten minutes, like I need that. Mm. That's crazy. I, what can I do? Like, yeah, hey, yeah. hey, uh, <laughs> yeah. gotta make this work. You know what I'm saying? We gotta. And you'll play yourself having a motherfucker's number and call them before you're ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Hey, oh. Niggas be thinking. What? Niggas be thinking that. Send me something right now. I'm in the studio right now. Send me something right now. Nothing. I gotta get to my computer. I gotta have my engineer bounce it. Be having the ones like, like for real. Yeah. Like, I, I got the ones, bro. Yeah, I already know. For Niggas be out you here. You can miss your opportunity. Like, oh, I'm dope. I'm like, okay, play me some. Nigga, never play you fuck with you again. Play you something fresh yeah. out the bottom of the trash. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I know you just ran totally at the bottom of the trash. The, the pure shit.
<laughs> you, you know when you're ready. Oh, yeah. It ain't no guessing. And you know when you're not ready. That's what yeah. get me about niggas. You know you wasn't ready. Yeah. For real. You know so you why would you act like you, you was ready? <laughs> like, uh, like the people that was fighting on them clips. Yeah, 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 like some of the people that was fighting on them clips. Yeah. They knew they wasn't ready. Yeah. That is true. Fighting is like that. It's always a motherfucker with no training. This the loudest like, nigga that's talking aloud. Look, come on, motherfucker. What you gonna do? <laughs> you. Ain't you. no, you ain't no rapper that? better than me. I'm the hardest rapper out here. Oh, oh, so okay. You co-wrote a song with Kiki Wyatt for Faith Evans. Talk about working with Kiki Wyatt, because she is a very so, underrated artist in the check industry. Check this out. Shouts out to Mars again. Because, you know, one day I went to the studio and, you know, I was dealing, I was dealing with some little shit. So I was, I was at the studio. And Mars was working in a, in a room across from me. So I went over there to say what's up. And I went in there and I had this, uh, I, I leaned against the wall and my damn gun fell on the damn floor. Uh, and Mars like, what? Hey, man, let me talk to you. Yeah. And I was like, what's up? Like, man, I'm, I'm just being safe, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, just being safe, nigga. He like, man. Man, you don't know how to move like that. I'm like, now nah, I got a love out here, bro. But just everybody got to be safe. This shit crazy out here. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. He like, just come back in the studio. Like, help us with this song. I went in the studio, and then Faith is in the studio. Kiki Wyatt ain't there. Faith, Faith recording, right? Faith is my And she, right? I'm not <laughs> speaking on that. I love Faith. That's my people. Okay. Do not put me in that. You will no, not have man. nobody <laughs> fight me or be upset with me <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, you. Nah, but, but she a real one though. But she, I would she imagine real. After she working in the real. Studio, I used She's to have a so studio with, with Faith's cousin Benny, <laughs> and, and we Faith used to be working in one studio, and I'd be working right here. So I I known them a long time. Oh, that's like yeah. family. It's family. I ain't gonna play with that. So um, shout out to Faith. Shout out to Faith. So, yeah, so to Faith. I'm there, and, and they working on the song "Make Love." I ain't know Kiki Y was gonna get on that song or nothing. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, um. The hook, they working on the hook, and I say one part, I was like, you say it like this. One little, one little part. And then I left. And then next thing I know, Mars hit me like, hey, uh, you got a percentage on this song. I'm like, oh, Mars looking out. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, for real? That's a good nigga, man. Damn, man. Yeah, that's dope, it's man. Fucking crazy. Yeah, that's dope as a motherfucker, man. Yeah, so with that being said, in the situation where he hooked me up, with Chris, the situation again, I helped somebody out and they didn't even look out for me on that the right way. Ooh, so I couldn't even look out for my nigga because. No, nah, I wouldn't even, and now I wasn't, wasn't even expecting that. It tripping or expect, but I was still like, that's just me. That's just how we keep our cycle of shit going. Yeah. When you make a connection, you got to keep the shit going so it can always keep going, keep the cycle of flow going. Straight up. People fuck it up. That's but, just But that, the, the, the thing, you know, ours kept going. You know what always. I'm saying? Man, that, that could be some people me, breaking point. All kind of shit. Like, that could be some people that be like, man, I ain't fucking with that person no more. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some people that got that poor mentality, poor mindset. Because p other people don't do shit right. I, I keep like here tell you for years. I'm I like to keep shit on the up. Every yeah. every bad feeling that I felt in this industry, I try to be the opposite of that. Can't nobody yeah. say Notch it. ain't like, fair I, and or Notch stole that, or yeah. Notch got over or none of that. Never. You know, it take it a while to get used to it. Ever. It's a lot of niggas rich off me right now, and I help get in the game and help them, like, show them how to do this shit. They didn't know how to do this shit, like, yeah. and help them. And niggas don't even call my phone no more. I don't care because yeah, yeah. I'm happy. I did what I was supposed to do. That's yeah. God gonna bless me. He blessed you. Like, it's, we good. But some people be thinking I'm mad or something. Nigga, I don't have that in me. Like, we, we, you was my friend. Right. You know what I'm saying? We were supposed to do that for each yeah, other. Yeah. That's real spill, That's man. What it is. You know what took me time to get used to the timing of getting paid in entertainment. Man, the timing oh, is yeah. crazy. Because it ain't never, this shit don't never happen when you think it's happen. Everybody else, <laughs> and, they, and they don't happen when everybody else think it's right. happening. Right. Oh, you wrote that one song, are you a, like, man, first of all, you don't even get your first check, nigga, until a year. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, the, that's the, so, nigga, the whole year, your shit ain't out nine months. You gotta ain't be nine out months. doing interviews, you gotta be in the club, all this shit. And yo, you out there like, man, I'm still waiting on one dollar from this shit. Man, man you on the radio. Hey, as soon as that motherfucker come, though. Oh, yeah, you out there, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Boy. Yeah, that's real spill. Your buddy. family think you got a million dollars instantly. Facts. Right you away. got a million dollars in late fees. Man. Yeah. That part. <laughs> new boys. You know what's, you know, yo, new boys, okay. Tie me down. So that was uh, like one of my second joints I had did. And uh, what's crazy is I was working with um, my, well, one of my friends, Lana, 
was managing the new boys at the time, and this before they, right before they had popped off, they had the little skinny jeans and shit going on. And I was hearing about this shit, but I, it didn't pop off all the way yet. They was about to drop that, uh, what was their first single? Uh, You're a Jerk. Two, yeah. They're about to drop yeah. the You're a Jerk song. You're a Jerk. Yeah. yeah. So, so. That shit started, uh, what's that shit? That started around 2012, I believe. Right round, almost round when Dougie was out. Around 2012, 10, 11, 12, around that time. Call, uh, uh, jerk, jerk, jerk moving, right? Just started jerking. It's, it's, a, it's a few clicks that started yeah, I've been because jerking. It was a, it was no, a, no, it was a few, it was, it was a few, few it was a bunch of, it was a but bunch of, but they just popped your lot, they made that fast, yeah. bigger than everybody else because they went and got a real deal. Okay. So, oh, okay. so what happened was, before they got their situation all the way, they had did, they had messed around and got a single deal. But before that, I had went to a show. It was like showing me, like the group. So I like they like booked me to perform on the, at the same little school that they was performing that. So I went, and they when I went to the, like when they was getting dressed, one of my like ex girlfriends was like give it like, she was like bringing her pants in, and I'm like, what the fuck are you about to do? She's like, oh, this for the boys. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, they smacked her. Oh, no, I'm like, what you doing with the pants? Yeah, what, what you doing with the them girls' pants? pants. Them oh, girls' oh, pants. They, oh, skinny jeans. They, <laughs> that, it was skinny jeans wasn't on a rack stand like yeah, for dudes. Yeah. Oh, it was man. like they took the girl jeans and made it like like cool. Oh wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> they, they, uh, but they were so skinny that it was still baggy on them. But it, you could tell like you know the fit of it was like. This yeah. is different. It's kind of like a uh, sunny and evening yeah. over there. <laughs> <laughs> like, you right now. Like, like, how, your, like, how your pants are touching your knees. Yeah. Those are even yeah. shorts. Yeah. Yeah. Those are 28 slants. Them is shants. Short pants, shants. So, so, you got on football jeans. Oh, nah, so I fuck with them, though. They're my, they're my little niggas. Yeah. So, but at this time, oh. like, I, I had got, I, I got hit up because I did. Hey, I start calling like Julia Roberts jeans. You got it. You got it. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm rocking that pretty woman. What you saying? Yeah. Pretty woman. <laughs> Walking down the street. Man. Stone cold <laughs> interview jacket. Sonny got on a skinny jeans jacket. Yeah. He got on Pauly Shore's outfit. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> ass, ass is cut out the jeans. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh out the barbecue. Yeah. So I have to spray that seat. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny, man. <laughs> nah, sliding in them jeans. They, they, they put the jeans on and shit, and we go to the shit, right? <laughs> so we go to the, the, the show, and yeah. I, I, do my, I do my performance, and then they, they come do theirs, and hey, them motherfuckers was going crazy off of them, right? Yeah. So I'm like, wait, this is a different effect. Like, they acting like these niggas is Justin Bieber in this Yeah, movie, right, right, right. This right. shit is nuts. So I go to another show with them, and, and it's like, oh, yeah, this is for real. So I, like, I start working with them. I did one song with them that we didn't put out. It was terrible. So like they they came with the uh, idea for the Tie Me Down song after they had did the You're a Jerk song. They like, yo, we got we gotta come with we gotta come with another uh, like another hit or we done. Right. So they had like the Tie Me Down idea, but it was like it was trash. Right. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I like what it started with, but like if it went like this. Then we can like make it all the way. Like I bet nobody in this room know the words to that song. Nah. Nobody online could tell me the words to the song. If you do, I'll cash at you right now. Yeah. Even if you look online, if you look online, it's wrong. Right. right. Nobody knows the words. Right. They don't know the words. <laughs> Ray J don't know the words. <laughs> nobody knows the words <laughs> to this song. I know the words. Right. right. The words is she ain't gonna tie me down. So why you got a rope? Right. That's simple. Yeah. You ain't gonna tie me down, so why you go? everybody say she ain't gonna tie me down. Huh, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's what everybody do. <laughs> but if she ain't gonna tie me down, so why you got a rope? Buy all the shirts, all the hats, all the clothes that you want right now. But I'm right now, I think you need to close your mouth because you ain't gonna tie me down. Yeah. Tie me. So I had cut that at first. Yeah. And that got released with me on it, but not through the label. They had put it up and started catching. Right, right. So the right. label came. Okay, we love this song, but we need to put somebody else on it. Mm -hmm. So then, here comes the label like, oh, so fuck, said, fuck him. Like you, yeah. <laughs> Get him out of here. He ain't signing us. He ain't signing nobody over here. Let's put a, somebody major. They tried like nine different people to put on that hook. Nobody couldn't match me. I wasn't around for it. I didn't even know it was happening. 
Then they had they had got Ray J. Ray J got on it. He did it. He the only person who like put his own style on it, and that shit popped. Oh wow! Shout out to Ray J. Oh, but for three and a half months on that song playing on the radio, they wasn't uh, like acting like I didn't do nothing on the song. All this shit, you know what I'm saying? So what happened was, I didn't know that like in a minute and something in the song, that my vocals were still on the. And the name of my uh, publishing company is the engineer that every time you hear my music. The yeah. engineer didn't cut that out. He didn't cut it out. Oh, it wow. sounds like an ad lib in the in the verse, but oh, it's wow. my publishing company and it's my it's my vocals. So it's like Maybach music. Yeah. Like, oh, like, wow. like everybody That's knows my shit is every time you hear my music, or I got every time you hear my music, like in a robot voice, I got yeah. all type of different but every that's, that's, that's my camera. shit. Yeah. Hey, that's so smart. when somebody hear that, they know it's oh notch. So the the thing is the song they had left it on there, but I was I got mad because I was going back and forth with lawyers, all this, you know, it wasn't their fault. They was young, you know what I'm saying? They was kids, literally yeah. 16, 17. It was just the lawyers and the, and the labels, the labels. And stuff was just like trying to force me out and shit like that. So when it happened, what happened was, and they even forced my homegirl out that was managing them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So what happened was I'm at Burger King. Shout out to my boy, J-Mo, Jairus Mosley. You guitar player. Okay? No, nigga, I'm in. No, I'm in. I'm at Jack in the Box in a in a drive thru uh -huh. I'm in a drive thru I told you I ain't. I, I, I only work in the window. Only work the window. Okay, okay. So, I'm in the drive thru nigga. At Jack in the Box, motherfucking uh, Simbadian. I was in heaven. I was part of the Sindarians. They have our own country. Sindaria. So, so I hear the song playing and coming on like on the radio. And I, nigga, I turned that nigga radio off. Nigga, turn this shit up, man. He like, why you turn this your shit? Nigga, turn it back on. I'm like, man, I'm still going back and forth trying to, you know, even get recognized on it. Right, he right. He turn it back on. I hear my shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wait a minute. Why right, the video, all that shit. Let me go look at the video right now. And that phone, at that time, you know, YouTube and shit wasn't just on the phone like that. Like, so I got to get back to the computer at the studio and I pull it up. I'm like, oh, this shit is on the video. Right. I, I pull the album up, put the album in, listen to it. Oh, what's on the album? Mm. Okay, it's a wrap. All right. Mm -hmm. um, hey, uh, yo, mm -hmm. at the time, my lawyer, Brett Lewis, shout out to Brett Lewis. He's still my lawyer. Uh, yo, Brett, check this out. Go listen to the song right here. Every time you hear my music, it's printed on the song everywhere. It's out everywhere. Ain't nothing they can do. It's, it's on there. So yeah. let's, let's handle this. Mm -hmm. So, nigga, they fast, fast forward. I get my percentage on the song, everything clears up, checks start coming in, all of this. I'm at Saddle Ranch one night, my, my first check that I get for, for this song, right? My first check, pretty damn fucking nice. At Who's this, that first check like, man? The first check, the first check was 36,000. Ooh. Ooh. Imagine 36,000 though when your family just lost the crib and you living in a hotel too. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. And they ain't believe it. Money on the way, y'all. Yeah. Just be patient. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm literally laying on the floor and and, and I, I put uh, like my, when that money hit and I, my mom and dad right there and my brother and everybody and I called my bank, you know how the bank tell you exactly how much in there. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, everybody's about to go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. What we got to do? What's up with the house we've been looking at? What's up? Like? Go on to Roscoe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. It was out of there. So, so like, that that vibe like like happened, right? So then me and the homie, saw my nigga Justin. Twelve Domino's pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. Nigga, so I go I go uh, out to eat like a week later. My first off my, off my first check. Me and my homie is eating right, and so I'm hearing some people sitting behind me, and they talking about record label stuff and business. They look real uh, like upscale people. Like okay, yeah. that's dope. I'm like telling my homie, like, yeah, we, before we leave, we're gonna introduce ourselves to them, you know, ain't no telling who they are. Yeah. So then get up and like, yo, all right, what's up, y'all? Uh, my name Notch. I'm just uh, introducing myself, producer, writer, da 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 da. They like, one dude, everybody like saying what's up, but the one dude is looking at me like, he like, Notch. Um, he's like, yeah, you were the one, uh, the new boys, right? And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, what's your name? He tell me his name, I'm like, 
Oh, you was the one that was uh, telling that I didn't have nothing to do with the song and all that. No, no, I said. He said, yeah, use the fight. So you, do you got you got your money? And I like, I'm eating off that money right now. I'm actually here right now. He <laughs> wanted to put hands on it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Just imagine if I didn't get this meal, seen, though, brother. That's what I see. It's a yeah. dude, this dude was an old white man, bro. It didn't make no sense that he was trying to do this to me, you old ass motherfucker. He probably think that you was trying to scam. Like, I don't know. If I would have hit him, he would have been out of here. You know what I'm saying? So it didn't make no sense. It just was crazy that you even pulled up in this situation and, yeah. and I run into you like this. But he was like, yeah. Just so you got some money off of it. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I'm, I'm eating off of it right now, brother. I got, some, I got a question for both of y'all. <laughs> you ain't got to answer it if you don't want to, but. Oh, shit. We've been in this industry for a minute, right? We've mm -hmm. seen some shit, right? What is the shadiest shit you've ever seen go down in the industry? Were you like, Ooh. nigga, wow! Okay. <laughs> this okay. is low. Okay. <laughs> okay. Said it out loud. Okay. This is I mean, okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna say no names, okay. and I ain't gonna speak on certain situations. But it's been certain. Okay, I'm gonna just put it like this. The shadiest thing I've seen, right, is someone set someone up like it's like a back door. Say like you're a celebrity. Right? I'm hood. I got two people, three people that's living in that hood. Woo, woo, woo. You don't know we together, though. Right. I'm at your party. And when you leave somewhere, I can get close to you. You not by nobody guard. I got one of my boys come bump you and then bang on you. Yeah. Go hard. Like, I'm about to... Like he about to fuck him up. Right, and right. You know this. You not that type of person. Yeah. Then I come over there like, oh no, wait, no nah, man, no nah, wait, wait. Ooh. Oh man, my name is such and such man. When you have problems, man, hit me up. Oh, What's your name? Oh, oh. Selling protection. Oh. He said, oh. yeah, security ass man. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, owe me one. you owe me one. You owe me one. You owe me uh, one. Uh, but you, yeah. but your name yeah. is. I, I had a homie do that recently. Uh, yeah, that's that. crazy. I was with a homie, and I ran into a bitch that I used to smash, but she was there with some bitches he knew, and he tried to act like, oh, I said, I got a bitch for you. I'm like, yeah. this bitch a decade ago, yeah, man. bro. <laughs> but I can't tell him, because, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, all right, my nigga, you got a bitch for me. <laughs> 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 you, know, the, the so, you got a friend from me? Uh, yeah, that's what the industry is shady. The like shadiest that. thing I be saying is like everybody trying to go for everybody else's girlfriend. Yeah. And like everybody capping and lying on everybody. Like, I, well, I, 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 I guess Bow Wow X Bros is open season. Man. I seen the mailman with one of his ex bitch. <laughs> <laughs> is everybody fucking Bow Wow bitch? Man. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That's crazy because Future, we already know Future is for the streets and he's with Bow Wow Baby Mom, so that's crazy. Oh, leave it alone. Yeah. And, and I know his baby mama, that's my own girl, stop. They all cool. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. My bad, man. I'm <laughs> Somebody hitting one of my ex bitches right now. I mean, it should happen. I man. probably have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, I ain't nobody, man. One thing I'm about tired. pussy, it's gonna get hit by somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you, it's yeah. gonna get hit by somebody. Yeah. It's gonna fall yeah. in. If you pull out, it's another nigga waiting. And that's just a, <laughs> or, 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 or another female. If another female. Yeah. Man, you know that too. Straight up. Females out here. That's the best advice your dad can give you. Well, that'd be my, your my, head, my dad met one of my ex girlfriends a long time ago, and he was like, he was like, son, are you, are you hitting that? And I was like, before I even answered, he was like, well, if you aren't, somebody else is. <laughs> And he was correct. Because he knew you wasn't here. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he was correct. He knew your bitch. I am a son, okay? I know what he's talking about. This bitch is being nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you're going to turn up.
Yeah. This bitch is being yeah. nice. Yeah. I was 15. I was 15 at the time. Yeah. Son, somebody said that. So. Yeah. Sonny was helping her move. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this next break yeah. is Roast Dominoes. Check out my Roast Domino League. God, God, God. Can I get in the Rose Domino League? Yeah, we're about to bring that back. Yeah, we're about to do the whole thing. Yeah. Hey man, we got another good matchup coming today, man. I want y'all to make some noise for my boy, Dope Boy. Yeah. We all Selfish pride to the side as we. <laughs> What's up, man? What's going on, Dope Boy? Hey, boy. It's your boy, Doe J. Simpson. You know why they call me Doe J. Simpson? Why is that? Because I'm killing these hoes. Uh -huh. I'm making jokes. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Yo, Joy Simpson. Do, Doe J. Simpson. Doe J. Simpson. I'm gonna beat the dog shit out of whoever you put in front of me. Oh, mama. Tell the world where they can find you, Doe J. You can find me, I am Doe Boy TV on YouTube. I am Doe Boy, D-O-B-O-Y, everywhere else. Let's get to it. Run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. For our next opponent, man, one of my partners straight out of Watts, California. I want y'all to make some noise for Damien. I'm on a bitch's mind. I'm on a dip to grind. Oh, man. Well, baby. So DJ, please do, man. Tell me what you about to do to yeah. Doughboy. Let's serve this nigga right here the way I'm supposed to. You did? <laughs> yeah. Indeed, indeed. That's right. Tell them where they can find you. Yeah, on, on uh, Instagram, DJ, please do. That's DJ, P-L-E-E-Z-D-U. Oh, you did? Let's get this thing going, y'all. Yeah. 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 All right, man. So the rules, fellas. Each game is 400. To 100. Okay. All right. If you call somebody bogus, you got to call bogus. That's 50 points. Good. Okay. And uh, game is to 100. Easy call. They go to 100 right there. All right, man. Don't take this personal. And I won't. All right. Let me go. <laughs> Show me your hand once you put it. Sixes. Bomb, there we go. Hello. Okay, okay, okay. Let's break that down a little bit. Chop it down, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Bomb. There it is. Uh, they playing chess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Why they're>? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just putting a little plot together. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Here we go. Dang. He pushed the pile to you. He's about to have you in there. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody okay, there we go. Not Anybody just yet. Not just yet. Uh. Get it off your yeah, chest, man. Come on. Detroit, Detroit. 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 If you if you do beat me, I want you to take this hot water. Hot water, man. When you watch those, man. What's the score, bro? What's the score? A lot to a little, man. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> That's how you watch this. First of all, I wanted to know if you guys know how to play dominoes. I know here in the Caribbean, dominoes is one of the staples in our community, especially if you have your uncles, brother, or even father figure like at a barbecue that is something that is really really important to know how to play dominoes so let me know if you played dominoes before 
Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, hey. You don't think you want to take the hundred to what? I want me to take the hundred and get a bigger t-shirt. Fit <laughs> 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 that budget. <laughs> 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 Thank you, sir. Bye. Welcome to KBLA 1580. <clears throat> Talk radio. The only black owned talk right, radio. Better come Tennessee. With this okay. Tennessee, Tennessee, Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> Doing some weird niggas. So, this is a preview of the Dominoes, I guess. This would be like a roast Dominoes that Craig Smith would bring back. But I will skip this and bring back the podcast for you guys. Stage, where? <laughs> like, what? The side of the stage? Behind the stage? Behind the curtain. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 trapped in the closet? No, he's funny. Shout out to them dudes. They hey, yeah, shout out to them. I just, I just ain't got the time to get them on roast. Yeah, so yeah. I just had to get that out. <laughs> Yeah. Well, fuck you niggas, man. You know? oh, it's man. all of them. You can't talk about it like that because you ain't going to be able to do keep your distance to comedy show. You ain't going to fuck with Oh, oh I'm well. sorry. I do music. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's called keep your distance, so I'm going to just keep my motherfucking distance. <laughs> what can I say? You know, God bless them. You know, I mean, but if they want me on there, cool. I'll come on there, but if not, go, go, go. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> you see? How you deal with lost opportunities? Uh, keep going. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's like, man, who who picking up dead flowers? Yeah, right. right. <laughs> if you didn't want to fuck with me, like, what I'm supposed to do? Keep trying to, like, you know, right. knock on the door. Yeah, right. Nah, man, you got it. It's 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 a whole world. Right. I had to learn that because I found. Like, bro, I started doing K-pop music, and K-pop music paid me more than, like, quicker than, like, K-pop music, they, if they want you to keep changing something, like, I need you to go turn up this, they're going to say, how much you want? Straight up. Straight, they're not going to play with your time or nothing. They're going to send you the money right then, and you're going to go do the work, and then if they want, oh, uh, no, I want you to go back in and, and fix something else. How much? Like they gonna because they respect your time and your effort and like they paying you racks right because they it's just what it is in our in our world is different like in K-pop music they sell way more than us I had the opportunity to work with this group called T R N four T dash A R A N four number it's crazy right but their first <laughs> album they came out here and their first album has sold twenty three million copies what yeah, yeah. bro and like that's like. They don't, them overseas, they be selling way more than like us over here. And they support like way crazy their own people. Like, yeah. so they sold 23 million. I didn't know how, like, how, like, they fan base was crazy. They came out here, they did something at a shoe store, and they had a line so crazy downtown that it was wrapping around the block and coming back around to the end of the. <laughs> I'm wow. like, yo, they really like people know, know them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like to tap into that world, and I work with another group called Speed. And they was super dope too. Came out here and, and did a song with them. They they never put these songs out. How they did songs with Wiz Khalifa, yeah. Chris Brown, all of that. Shouts out to Big U because we had worked together and got them on songs and, and and worked with them. And these songs have never even been out. They just oh, they but they looked out for us in a crazy way. Yeah. And it was dope. Shout out to Demir, my homie Demir, who linked, put it all together. I must say, no, I have a personality that he beams enthusiasm and every good thing that happened to him, he, he, it looks like he deserves it. Persons like that with positive energy need to be around because they just bring positivity in your life, in my opinion. Shout out to Big U. I never met him, but he doing some legendary shit, bro. Yeah. What's crazy is you did meet Big U because oh, I did yeah. after your episode yeah. roasting me when Ti was him. here. I met him. Yeah. That's, that's big homie. So, yeah. bro, that has uh. anybody else caught you the bag? Like I was watching the Dame Dash interview, and he was mm -hmm. talking about how he was on. Um, they almost sold Rockaway to uh, Tommy Hilfiger, but Jay Z did another deal. Like for, he brought it out online, and it was like if he ain't with it, we. It was like they, they lost like four, 40 million, 450 million. Has somebody else, have, have you ever lost a bag because of something somebody else did? 
Man, I actually, I actually have lost because I, I my early in my career, I was trying to help a whole lot of people, just bringing homies and bringing like certain people around stuff, and niggas would be trying to fight people, disrespectful, just, and then some people would just be jumping too fast to opportunities, messing with, trying to get at girls they ain't supposed to get at, that somebody, yeah. like all kind of stuff, Talk bro. They just kept yeah. messing up like plays, mm. and I'm just like, bro, what the hell is like? So I had to center myself and realize you don't gotta go nowhere with a, you. Know, everybody don't need an entourage, right. you know what I'm saying? Some people do it, and teach it, teach well, on. If they do, it's gotta be the right people, and they gotta move accordingly. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because it got to be a team effort. Like, everybody got to understand that we all trying to get somewhere. Whoever get there first is helping the next person, the next person helping the next person. Sneaking no pictures not, and taking videos. Yeah, and, doing all kind of little stuff that shit without like, doing. Yeah. If they, you know, they willingly, if they maybe later, don't, don't even ask. I've been just been blessed, too. To I've been blessed, too, to just that whatever is supposed to happen, it's supposed to happen. So whatever didn't happen wasn't supposed to happen. Right you know what I'm saying? Because that's yeah, just yeah, real that's life. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I get up and, and punch Craig in the stomach right now, that was supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever happens after that, it's supposed to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but that's just like yeah. real, like real. On some I'm gonna show you all these credits. I'm gonna show you. That's just... my song. This one, you punch me in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make like it. 20 remixes to oh, the song. Oh, here. <laughs> hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on. Yeah, this nigga. Uh, Chef Boyardee better leave me alone. <laughs> uh, your, your wave cap came in a briefcase. <laughs> hey man, you look like you dipped your chin in baby uh, baby powder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here today. I'm on there. Like, your that? wave cap is made out of shamwild skin. <laughs> and, 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 and your and your and your uh your your tie bow motherfucking tie down is made out of motherfucking foreskin. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Five, yeah. <laughs> okay, I got some questions for both of y'all. Answer them accordingly. It ain't no disrespect. Yeah, oh, we shit. just gonna get it out the way, man. Respond how you respond. The disrespect is on the way. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. uh, first, first, first question. Are you a bitch ass nigga? <laughs> never, never in life. <laughs> Why not? Can never be, cause bitch ass niggas are uh, un, 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 uh, uncertified in the world that I live cause in. Cause I got morals. Yeah. You got morals. Morals, like, morality. Yeah, bitch ass niggas don't have morals. Yeah. They What's more important, strong. economics or manhood? Your manhood. Manhood. Why is that? Because, because I ain't doing what the economy doing. I don't want to be economic. I want to be. I want. I want yeah. to stand for. Stand for something, and I fall for everything. You know right. what I'm saying? If you, if you a real man. You be seeing um, on YouTube how they be building um, their own houses and little huts and villages. Everybody is capable of being able to. You know what I found out about that? That shit CGI. What? Them two little dudes, the little Indian what you dudes. Mean, is, CGI? It's fake, bro. What? They got us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Crazy. Them niggas that be building with the little sticks. But you can though. Yeah, yeah you can. But them two niggas is fake. Oh wow. wow. Hey, watch this. Like, watch where everybody go back and look. Gonna go it's gonna on. be a couple of clips that you see where they jump out. It's like it's, you, it's like it's CGI. Ah. Then they got them like a couple scenes. They they like literal cartoons. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, it be switching off and on. Like yeah. I'm like, bro, I literally watched it, That's and I said these niggas got us. They tricked the whole world thinking these two motherfuckers is building all this shit by themselves. Yeah. They speeding it up, then there's some shit that move out the way, and then they'd be to the next part. Yeah. That shit, CGI, man. They got us. They tricked us. That's crazy. Whoever you are that's developing that, you're great. You're amazing, <laughs> I mean, man. I, I, Hit me up. We can work. That's <laughs> I got, the, to make it, do you have to join the Illuminati? And the thing is, I think I came across one or two of their videos and they get like, they have like a few million subscribers, so you know how much um, impact they have in the community. Wow, I thought that was real. Hell no. Hell no. So why do everybody think that this is what you got to do? Teachers because when you man. get to, to reach a certain level, you got to answer to some people because you got to think about it. It's like being a dope dealer. You all right you come move to my territory you come to my block because it's been people in the record industry before you so you come into my territory if you making a certain amount of money and you interrupting with my business we we got to talk 
Right. Or you're going to become a problem. It's the same thing. Like right, People right. don't think that, but yeah, you'll feel like as much money as they make, why are they worried about me? Because in time, you can become a threat. Right. All it takes is for you to really right. kick the door in. <clears throat> okay. They if can't a, have another you. If a woman raped you, would you snitch? Wow. No. <laughs> well, uh, the, uh, well, I ain't telling what? nobody. She ain't telling nobody. I'm gonna enjoy my unless, time unless she got something. I well, I I, I dated yeah, this girl. Everybody. I dated this girl. <laughs> <laughs> I dated this girl. You know what say? Uh, what you say? Unless she got something, then I'm telling uh, everybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling, telling everybody. everything on everybody. I was dating this girl some years ago. I was uh, probably like. Shut your. <laughs> and somebody, I'm gonna turn your heart monitor off in a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna step on your pacemaker. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us the struggles of your beard. Tell us the struggles uh, uh, of your life alert. <laughs> <laughs> Does your beard look like Barstow? I see it. <laughs> hey, hey, this, this, hey, ladies and gentlemen, the staircases where you shot the I'm falling and I can't get up from my shit. Fuck up. Anyway, I was dating this girl years ago, and um, I was asleep, and I woke up to some some uh, oral uh, conversations, and I was, you know, I I said, go on and do what you gonna do. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you, you can't stop the funk. Right. She was sucking your dick or somebody else. She was sucking mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of, what kind of, <laughs> <laughs> What kind of life are you living? What kind of life are you living? What kind of girl would you be? What kind of girl would you be dating if she be in a room so wow. somebody else? Is I fuck with bitches that lay like, you lay sit bad with me while I cheat on them. Them the type of bitches I fuck with. I humiliate bitches. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't give a fuck. That's because you light skin. <laughs> so that's a light skin life, you know? Yeah. Light skin life. Do it for slaves too. Do it for please. <laughs> Coming to go. <laughs> yeah, I kicked out the room, pulling some uh, shit like. Can that. you find uh, and put your thinking cap on? Cause it's uh, it's something positive in everything. Right? <laughs> that nigga always thinking bad. That nigga cut the cut the cut the cut the, uh, the private part off this. <laughs> a black belt. Yeah, I'm a black belt in sex. <laughs> I'm a black belt in sex. <laughs> what demonstrations do you have to do to be a black belt in sex? That you got he, only he would know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only tricks of a kid. Yeah, I'm a kid. <laughs> on level yet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, only only niggas with thick glasses like that can tell you that. Off. That nigga you see today, tomorrow, yesterday, and beyond. <laughs> nigga, when is God coming back? <laughs> <laughs> the endangered species wave cap. Right? <laughs> you know, endangered species glasses on a nigga. That motherfuckers, that shit bulletproof. That nigga eyes bulletproof. They can't hurt my eyes. You saved up to buy that wave cap. <laughs> you saved up. You saved up to buy that beard dye that you gonna put on the night, <laughs> Mr. Cosby. All right. Uh, Stop. <laughs> If if <laughs> it's something positive and everything, right? I'm gonna yeah. fuck what it is. Mm -hmm. So put your thing. Cap this mother be some oh, bullshit. Shit. I feel yeah. 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 Can you find anything positive about being a crackhead? <laughs> yeah, watch this. <laughs> After. You get <laughs> 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 Realize all the <laughs> fucked up times that you had on crack. Yeah. Ask Boo Capone. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm just funny. fucking around. That's my name. Lawless, what can Ooh. you find positive about being a crackhead? Man. <laughs> Get strong. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that nigga sat up like maybe it's up here. <laughs> Two more inches, I'm gonna find. Bro, I can't what even. What can you find? Bro, this tippy toes in the spirit. I can't. Nah, it's all it's up here. Bro, it ain't no. Well, look at him. Yeah. 
<laughs> you ain't gonna have no appetite. <laughs> <laughs> All the food will be there. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. No appetite. Okay. That's okay, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, perseverance. <laughs> you know how hard it is to buy dope and keep chasing it hard? Man, that's that's cold. Yeah. Cold perseverance. You got Real to shit. really go out there and stand on the corner. Yeah, yeah. I'm at Bro, 70. You ain't never yeah. giving up this shit. <laughs> Singing songs and shit. I'm gonna get to that. <laughs> can you give me some change? <laughs> so I can go buy something strange. Like, no, nigga. Hey. Creativity is at an all time high. It is. I've seen yeah. I've seen you do it before. <laughs> nigga, oh, you got wow. you got a dojo next to a cardboard box. I've never <laughs> even... a box joke. Box joke. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mama, box Every time he kick you, hear that motherfucker slide. <laughs> <laughs> Bring my nose up back, man. <laughs> not just, Break dancing, you do a karate. What's happening? Okay, not his beard. Not his beard look like on the way to Vegas. Zizix road face. Come on. Okay. Okay. You still hooking up old cable boxes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is what you got to think about this. One. This is another thinking cap question, niggas. Thinking cap question. Thinking rap. Okay. Thinking wave cap. Thinking Question. rap. Can a woman that dates you for money truly love you? No. Nah. Nah, she dating no. you for no. money. No. Mm -hmm. no. She dating you for that money. What the yeah. fuck you mean? She <laughs> love you. She <laughs> love Benjamin. Right, right. You know, all she the love rest what you of the motherfuckers on there. You know? She love what you can do for her. But ain't love an action? Yeah, she can actually action love that mm -hmm. money. Right. That that ain't love. It's what 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 she gonna, yeah. well, how she gonna love you? As soon as the money gone, what's gonna happen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bitch, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym. Yeah. Right. That ain't no love. Okay. okay. Money that, gone. That ain't love at all. She can't love that you. She love. she love the money. Out the front she though. love what you do for her. She love. How did Nipsey Hussle's death change you guys? Man, Man extremely. I knew I knew Nipsey. Yeah, that was. I had problem, songs bro. with Nipsey. I yeah, actually, I actually worked in worked in the studio with just me and him, and I actually had talks with Nipsey because, um, you know, a long time ago, you know, Nipsey was making a bunch of like crip, heavy crip mu music, and what's crazy is, um, you know, Mike and Keys. Yeah. So Mike, uh, I'm coming out the weed shop, probably two months before Nipsey passed away, and Mike and Keys walking up and they're like, "Oh, Nipsey, we was just talking about you last night." Yeah. I'm like. Like what he say? He said, "Yeah, you was the first nigga to tell him to make it, make hits." Wow. And I was like, "Damn, I remember that shit." Yeah. I was like, "Yeah," because I told I told Nip, I was like, "Man, you gotta make hits, my nigga. Like, you gotta make, like, you need shit for these females. You need shit for the world. Like, I get the crib, you like, Nick, cause I got hits. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I I know you got bangers, but you need that other shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's when he started coming with other shit. But the, like two days later. He called me, he's like, I got one. Come to the studio, cuz. <laughs> I went to the studio, and there was a song where he was like singing on that motherfucker. So I'm like, oh, this shit crazy. I said, let me fuck with it real quick. So at that time, I was like heavy engineering, barely singing and stuff. So Nip went in the other room. I sung a hook on it. You know what I'm saying? And Nip, I'm like, come back in. He had come here, and he like, man, what the fuck? You just did that right now? I'm like, yeah, I just did that right now. I'm like, that's the type of shit you gotta be making, bro. Yeah. Like shit like this, like people like gotta feel you. Like I get the other music, like they gonna feel you anyway. But right, right. When you tap into this other crowd, it's just gonna open up another door for you. Mm -hmm. And he remembered that shit. Now that, that really fucked with me. Man. Because two months later, it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like I. In that short period of time of him just inspiring Nip to then dying. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. Come on. Don't do this to me. Like, it was... Everything he ain't never charged me for no verse. He ain't never charged me for nothing, bro. Videos, nothing. Okay, it is freezing, guys, but we managed to just listen to I would say ninety-five percent of the video. Well, it's acting up now, but. 
this was an awesome podcast i must say i really enjoyed it i truly enjoyed it everything went well just the last part but for the most part everything went well i truly enjoyed the the back and forth with notch and the real life that notch interact with so many musicians that we know today it shows you that talent respect and loyalty will carry you far in the industry and the industry and around different doors so if you have that positive mindset you can achieve anything you put your mind to but um wonderful video once again until we meet again this is your boy Steph Reax and look out for the next video that will be out in the near future I'm out